Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to look at console. In a few tutorials back we looked at console out which allowed you to output information to the screen with using text in a console and this uh, console in allows you to get in information from the console and then you can assign to a variable or do whatever you want with it. That's what we're going to be doing, just simply assigning two variables then just see out to there so you can see the actual result. In most cases, standard input device is the keyboard uh, with the console in, aka CIN, and the greater than greater than operator, which we'll show you in a second. It is possible to read input from the keyboard. One thing to note the, po the input is only processed by CIN after the return key is pressed, so you have to make sure you press the return key. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And so, what we're going to do is just get rid of this a second and we're going to declare a variable called i we're not going to assign anything to it and we're going to do std c out and in here we're going to put please enter a number we we'll put colon at the end and a space so there's a little visual space between where you put the number and where it's asking you to put the number, then you do std colon colon, then you cin, which is the console in method, then you do less than less than, and then the variable name. So I'm just going to put i. So you can sort of see this is the opposite of the cs. So you can think of it if it's going this way, it's going into the c out, aka to the screen where the CIN is taking it from the console and putting it into the variable. That's how you, how, how you can think of it. STD C out, and we're just going to print out I. After what we do, we'll assign I a value, and we'll print it out before as well, so you can see what it is before. And we're just going to put STD in line. Now if we run this, we get 9, you then to a number so I'm gonna put 678 click enter and now it's just printed 78 obviously because we had no new line character which we'll put now the program ended with x equals zero from the same line which doesn't look very good so if we just put 273, click enter, it prints at 273. That's it for this tutorial. It is literally that simple to do console input. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover strings. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube, whatever you feel comfortable with. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.